All right. We should get serious. Yeah. If we must. <laughs> We've been recording for a half hour now, and we're back at the beginning. <laughs> Boy, you know I don't like you to enter my private study, especially when I'm writing, he growls. Leave now, or I'll make you leave. You should pull that lever. I'm caught in the act. <laughs> you can see his rage <laughs> building as the wizard's face turns red behind his white beard, and his eyes bulge alarmingly. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. I wasn't <laughs> doing anything. Give him a hug. I, for whatever reason, also really feel like there is a key in this room, but... There is. David! <laughs> uh, please! I'm just trying to have an experience here! Assuming the fact that are you go. fucking kidding me? <laughs> what? Okay, hold on. Look, what the fuck at, was... <laughs> look at top oh, of closet. Oh no! On top. <laughs> fuck you, David. I, what, I didn't design this game. <laughs> no, no, your hit on top of it was giving floor. When it should... <laughs> like, yes, technically that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're an hour into King's Quest 3 and we've solved the first puzzle. <laughs> what did you write to get this to happen? Look on top of closet. <sighs> I never would have thought that because how? How? How do you look on top of this closet? This man well, now... is like three feet tall. <laughs> well, we have to reload now. <laughs> well, you don't think we can pull the rest of this game in seven minutes? <laughs> <laughs> hug him, hug him, hug him. Damn it. Also, don't forget to look through the telescope this time. Ah, fast <laughs> enough. Oh, hug wires. Ugh, you don't want to do that, do you? I said what I said. <laughs> Just want right. to get some rapport building with Manhattan. Take the fly. Look telescope. The wizard wouldn't <laughs> like that. Look in telescope. You put your eye to the glass. It amazes you how near everything seems. You can even see squirrels climbing faraway trees. No wonder the wizard knows all activities in Ludor. That's an easy point to miss. My God. <laughs> oh, did I already get the... Yeah, I believe you've hidden the... the other items on end of your bed already. Yeah. So you see the key. You know what? Close closet. On top of... I feel that would be a lot more fair if it was a visible item. If there was at least like a pixel on top of the cabinet. Oh, yes, it would. It would be much more fair. Yes. Man, that was something. <laughs> but you know what? We sort of got there by ourselves in the end. It almost. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> I had every confidence in you guys. <laughs> Beautiful. David, I forget. Does this cat report on things that I've done? Should I not, like, do things around it? Uh, I think that the worst thing you need to worry about is if uh, it's on the stairs, but I don't think that it, it's, it's, it's a normal cat. If it's there when you're doing shit, you need to get done with your shit. Otherwise, it will report you. But it, I could be thinking about five. Oh, sorry. Nimbly, you grab the nasty cat by the scruff of its neck, avoiding its needle-sharp claws. Now that you have it, what are you going to do with it? Take fur. Rich. 
You manage to pluck some fur before he viciously scratches and leaps from your arms. With grim satisfaction, you survey your wounds. Stupid cat, you scoff. Whether you know it or not, you just helped me. I just hate... Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> the detestable cat leaps from your arms, snarling and screeching. I just hate that they play that line before you actually know that you need that. Like, Yeah. I get it, I know. It's hard developing, etc. But mm. You unlock the oaken cabinet using the brass key. Inside, you find the wizard's magic wand. You take it with you, knowing it could mean death if he finds it missing. That warning always makes me feel so <laughs> anxious. <laughs> mm. After closing the door, you carefully relock it. You push the large book aside, revealing a metal lever attached to the back of the bookshelf. Bull lever. A trap door opens, revealing steep stone steps leading into darkness. You save. <laughs> just because <laughs> stairs. It never hurts to do it again. I was just about to. We're on the same wavelength when it comes to saving. The same so safe length is, as uh, it this is where most of the like meat of the game mechanically takes place. You look in awe around this torch-lit underground room. It appears to be a laboratory. A wizard's laboratory. Against the earthen walls, there are rows of shelves holding numerous jars which contain strange, unknown ingredients. The shelves also hold skeletons of small animals and birds, some human skulls and bones, and other odd instruments whose use you do not know. Against the earth wall is a massive oak table with a spacious worktop. The narrow stone steps lead up to the wizard's study. Look at book. Covered with gold trimmings, the old book's leather cover is cracked and worn, its pages yellowed and brittle. The title, however, is clear. The Sorcery of Old. You eagerly thumb through page after page of what you assume to be magic formulas. The ink of the old handwriting is faint and barely readable. Most of the formulas are indecipherable, but a few are in a language you know. You treat the old book with great care as you can tell it contains recipes for some very old and powerful magic spells. Your hands shake as you realize this book could be the key to your escape from the evil Mananan. Hopefully you bought the game retail and have the manual. Damn, you know, I did not, I really didn't remember the spells being confined to the manual. Like, Oh I, yes, that was the copy this protection. Was, this was a, a huge barrier to me, like progressing in this game uh, as a child, because um, e even if you have the manual, most games trained me not to need to confer with it after you've like gotten past an initial copy protection screen. So I uh, figured I was doing something wrong for a very long time. Against the earth wall is a massive oak table with a spacious worktop. Atop the oak table are a large leather-bound book, a mortar and pestle, a little... Is it brazier? Is that how it's pronounced? I believe I think so. so. A little brazier holding charcoal, and a flint, plus measuring cups, beakers, flasks, and stirrers. I wouldn't want to mispronounce it as brazier or something. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before. It's embarrassing. <laughs> You curiously gaze at the strange jars of ingredients, the animal and human bones, and other odd implements which line the rows of shelves. You see jars of ingredients resting on labeled shelves, shelves bearing such ghastly names as powdered fish bone, nightshade juice, mandrake root powder, saffron, toadspittle, and toadstool powder. The shelves are the same. Can I look at the desk? The wizard's desk is curiously empty. You have no further interest in it. All right, David, so what do we know about spell books? Uh, what we know about spell books is that uh, in this game, uh, you need to gather a plethora of ingredients. And really, the game is less about puzzles, at least in the first half, and more about just having a scavenger hunt for various things that are required from the spell book. 
Um, and that, all that's confined to the manual. Um, and we have uh, a number of spells uh, that were described. We have flying like an eagle or a fly, teleportation at random, causing a deep sleep, transforming another into a cat, brewing a storm, uh, and becoming invisible, uh, all of which are required to finish the game. Wow, gee, tell me more about turning another into a cat. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned that. It's so easy. Uh, first off, uh, you're going to need some mandrake root. You're going to need some cat hair. You're going to need some fish oil. Uh, and duh, 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 I believe those are the key ingredients apart from the wand. Uh, you might have to say powder. Ah, there we go. Uh, take oil. Take fish oil. Unfortunately, uh, they, there is no fish oil here. Ugh. Son of a fuck. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> and I don't think we can... I'm asking Suha this. To be clear. Oh, <laughs> God bless it. <laughs> A darn cat really did it to you this time. Tripping over the cat, you fall to your death. <laughs> the cat got its revenge. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I'm asking Suha this because I don't want to know the answer, but do you recall if we can go to town with the wizard still being alive? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You mean like if you don't get your shit together to deal with him before uh, or during this this trip, like, would you still be able to go? Yeah, exactly. You can't if he's here. But if he's on a journey, I can go to town. Yes, you're you're good. Because if I'm going to get fish oil, it might be in the town. Or, you know, outside of the tower. But I don't want to go all the way down those damn treacherous stairs. I think it'll, it's worth going down the stairs. You know what? We're going to feed the chickens. They deserve it. All right, well. <laughs> Not even going to slow the game down. <laughs> Hell no. David, I am a consummate professional. Oh, yeah. I remember doing this, like... Now, this is the, the shitty part. Wow, literally holding my breath for a second. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's smooth sailing from here on out. You'll notice I waited. <laughs> I just like the viewers to know that uh, the other night we uh, had Suha play the VGA remake of King's Quest One, and I did exact my revenge on her as she climbed the beanstalk. <laughs> <laughs> it did work. It, it, worked, ex it worked exactly oh, as I had hoped. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the many beautiful trees bring a sense of peace to this forest. The fact that that part always took me and my sister... Oh. I didn't remember this at all. Yes, I can <gasps> teleport around. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this map optional? Yeah, you don't, like, need the map, but it is handy. I've never used this. I <laughs> yeah. That means you don't have to go down the stairs anymore? You do, because it, it takes me, like, I pointed here, and it takes me to the bottom of the stairs. Okay, I guess <laughs> that is... I like that you call the mountain trail stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Spiritually, they're the same as the stairs. Oh, 
These two are certainly rogues. unsavory rogues. They look like they'd rob you blind. Hey, guys. Hello, daddies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, at least they're wearing masks. They understand. Um... <laughs> After recovering from a whack on the head at the hands of the bandits, you stand unsteadily. Taking stock of your holdings, you discover that all of your possessions have been stolen. I love the phrase unsavory rogues, and my <laughs> sister and I always called these two the unsavory rogues. <laughs> you know, they weren't criminals or thieves or whatever. I cannot believe that the magic map originated here. Yes. I never knew this. Yes, so when we look at map, Alexander pulls out his magic map. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the kind of shit that you learn all these years later when somebody else plays. Uh-huh. You pick and poke among the fallen acorns looking for dried ones. You don't find any. These are all newly fallen. I didn't even know that acorns are, like, you know, green or whatever. Try to climb the huge oak tree but cannot find a good handhold. You slip back and all you gain for your efforts are splinters. Can you get splinters from a tree? Yeah, I think so. Uh, maybe if it's, like, cracked, but... Yeah. Because, like, bark I don't think would give you splinters. I, I guess it could if it were, like, really shitty dry bark that's, like, mm. cracked off. The soft, loamy soil of the forest here gives way to the sands of the great desert stretching off to the west. Ooh, we have desert in this one. Mm -hmm. Always in the <laughs> oh, here they it's are. Rogues. It's the boys. <laughs> here come them here boys. Come. <laughs> <laughs> what if that snake can kill us? Oh, crap. <gasps> oh my god, that's scary. <laughs> Your eyes fall upon a face so hideous, so gruesome, that the horror of it is beyond description. People who look upon the face of Medusa, with her hair of writhing live snakes, turn instantly to stone. Suddenly, your body feels cold and stiffens hard as a rock. You'd make a nice statue, Gwydion. Oh, I do make a nice statue. Oh, I'm dead. Wow. I mean, like, Gwydion is quite muscular and handsome, so... Yeah. As they've taken great pains to remind us every time. Mm -hmm. Of course. Also, would it be fair to infer that Roberta Williams was not a cat person? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I don't know if I can think of a... Has there been a positive cat in these games? <laughs> I'm struggling to recall. So if you turn like around, are you good? Oh, she's gonna get you. I've never seen her actually get you. Oh no! Oh. Medusa's touch is like ice. A cold chill shivers down your spine, turning to a stiffness that soon hardens your body like a rock. You are now nothing but a statue. Well, she's she also got a, a stone uh, Midas touch, I guess. Apparently so. Does Medusa just wander around the desert? Is that really the ideal, like, you know? I mean, they gotta do something to destroy you. Like, uh, Greek mythology adaptations usually uh, stick Medusa in, like, caves and whatnot. The soft, loamy soil of the forest here gives way to the desert. You know, I really, really like the addition of this map. It does make navigation a lot more convenient. I know that, like, this map is also dramatically smaller um, than King's Quest 1 or 2, so remembering where things are is a lot more convenient. Um, so it really depends on, like, how you feel about, uh, like, the sense of scale. Because I think that this is kind of, like, the, the origin of the spirit of, like, you having a big open world to wander around in. Mm-hmm. You notice an unusual little cactus beside that large rock. Oh no! <sighs> okay. I think I know what's going on here. I like that you're turned around. Oh, I remember this being... Oh, that worked. There you go. Averting your eyes, you aim the wizard's hand mirror at Medusa's face. A scream pierces the air as she beholds her own hideous reflection. Then, nothing. 
You dare to look. Medusa has turned herself to stone. But Medusa. Even as a statue, Medusa is indescribably ugly. Wow. Very unkind. The statue is much too heavy to carry. Push, Push statue. Medusa. There we go. <laughs> Break statue. All right. Well, that deals with Medusa, I guess. Did it work? I had the text box covered. When you said break statue, did it just say like, how oh, no, can you do no, that? No, 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 no. Okay. It's, the game's not going to let you do that. Like she's, she's, uh, done. Dunzo. Okay. But I do Got have a cactus. cactus. Oh, hey, look. A lovely little skeleton. Uninteresting bones. This game has black cats and skeletons. Casey will approve. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it took me a minute to, I don't know, to register that. Any experienced traveler knows better than the mess with snakes. We're not an experienced traveler. Now are we? No, we're not. Heart sands of the desert seem to reach forever westward. There's an RNG item here, just so you know. Seriously? Also, um... Did you, like, make a desert save? Oh, good. That's right. We I don't did. have to walk all the way back. I did make a desert save. No, oh, no. Uh, need cactus juice? <laughs> wonder how far out we'll go before we die. <laughs> God, an RNG item, though. That's crazy. I don't remember that. There's multiple RNG-dependent items in this game, which is part of my saltiness towards it. I feel like the acorn is one. Come on, you can't put a skeleton and say it's uninteresting. Yeah, seriously. Skeletons are rad as heck. <laughs> Boy, they sure are a lot more generous with the desert than they they are in the other games. Oh, now we're back. There's an RNG item here, as in sometimes when I come onto the screen, it'll be here? It appears to be here currently, unless I'm misreading uh, it. Maybe use that cactus to get some juice. Oh, there's a snake. Is there? Oh. Oh, it is a dead snake, isn't it? You notice or a dried a snake skin lying on the hot ground. You retrieve the, the dried snake skin from the hot desert sand. It is delicate and could easily crumble. Is that the item you were referring to, David? Yes. Uh, to my recollection, uh, getting a reptile skin requires wandering around the desert until one spawns. Lizard. They're just lizards scurrying across the desert floor. Just lizard. Yeah, you know, a just and kind lizard. <laughs> Little lizards are much too quick for you. All right. Take an acorn. So is the acorn going to be RNG as well? Should I just keep on searching the acorns? <laughs> I think it's either a certain amount of time needs to pass or um, there it's random. I feel like it's also time based from what I remember, but I'm obviously not fully certain. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did you did you get any cactus juice? I have a cactus. Oh, I guess that does it then. Yeah, it took a small cactus. It's small, plump, I was wondering and why fleshy. I kept showing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's because it was in my inventory. Um, speaking of which, here's my inventory so far. Cat hair, snake skin, fly wings, rose essence, mandrake root, cactus, magic wand, brass key, empty cup, mirror, magic smap. Excellent. Also, thinking about the magic smap, it's occurring to me just how many permutations of King's Quest VI we're going to have to go through when we get to that game, because we've got to do it all. <laughs> King's Quest VI is going to be like a 10-week series with the amount of stuff we have to cover. <laughs> because I do intend on doing both paths. 
Um, this is the comfortable home of the three bears. A well-tended flower garden grows out front. I like that Gwydion knows that this is the th where the three bears live. Yeah. There are lovely flowers growing in this well-tended garden. Their sweet scents and beautiful colors delight you. You wouldn't want to spoil the lovely flower bed <laughs> by picking one. The game's like, you should move closer if you want that. No. No. <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty. The many beautiful trees bring a sense of peace to this forest. You see an impassable mountain to the south. Look at water. Clear water flows over and around the rocks of the stream. Wet mud lines its banks. Ah! Up here, the stream is nearly imperceptible. Hey, look at that. That is very good RNG. Look yes. The eagle. You see a majestic eagle. Take feather. You may or may not know, but getting good feather RNG is key to the speed runs for this game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like you're not lying. I, I'm yeah. absolutely telling the truth. Yes. Dark stream flows by a huge dark cave. I would Dave. definitely like to watch a speed run of this game. <laughs> Made of no spiders. <laughs> what, you're not hungry? As you touch the sticky web, a giant spider drops down from her lair in the tree above. You attempt to escape, but her sticky web holds you fast. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> It's not how spiders work, but you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> you, you keep slaying, queen. <laughs> I fully expected an animation of uh, Gwydion being like rolled up into a web, not him just being chomped by a giant spider. <laughs> Can you like cut the... We don't need spider webs, do we? Is, is, I'm trying to remember if this is, is part of any of the spell ingredients. Uh... Damn, is it really not possible to just do that? No, it doesn't seem to be. Even on slow speed, I can't get close enough. Unless I have to do it from a different angle. Although it says you need to be closer, that just... Is the game baiting you? <laughs> yeah. I don't... At least as far as the manual is concerned, I'm not seeing any mention of webs or um, spider components, unless I'm just not reading attentively enough. We are up here now. I do think as far as AGI games go, this game is beautiful. Yeah, I think, I think that they were being a bit more ambitious in terms of what they could accomplish um, with uh, the format. Yeah, and I really like how like you can see the spider cave up there. Mm-hmm. There's a better sense of place, whereas like King's Quest one or two, it's like okay, uh, now it's a completely different zone. Mm -hmm. That's something growing on this tree. One of the trees is a light green colored plant growing on it. On closer inspection, you see that it's mistletoe. Busting your balls over, you know, two yeah. feet. You search among the hanging mistletoe until you find a sprig that has dried. You break it off and carry it with you. Sorry, I had a phone call. What did I miss? We got some mistletoe. We got some okay. mistletoe. And was that a spell ingredient? It is. Okay. Where did was it in that tree? Mm -hmm. Yes.
You have entered a quaint seaside town. Smoke curls lazily from the houses and shops overlooking the ocean. A pier stretches out into the bay. Near the pier, you notice a store and a tavern. I mean, that guy is from Sincello. Mm-hmm. Good day to you, young man, greets the storekeeper. What can I do for you? The storekeeper asks, Now, what can I do for you? <laughs> store is full of general merchandise and supplies to meet the needs of the village. A friendly storekeeper bustles busily behind the counter. I like that you're trying to talk to him and he keeps going, Now, son, what can <laughs> I do for you? <laughs> oh, fish oil. The, the shelves are filled with all sorts of useful items. There are a few items of particular interest to you. Leather pouches, salt, fish oil, and lard. But I don't have anything to buy it with. I don't have. You don't money. have any money. The dog. <laughs> oh, the dog lying on the floor is obviously a mutt. The name Kenny is embossed on the leather collar. Can you pet the dog in King's Quest Three? You can pet the dog. As you pet him, Kenny licks your hand and thumps his tail in appreciation. A small wad of dog fur collects in your hand, and you tuck it in your pocket for later use. Which is what I always do with all the dog hair that comes off of my dog. <laughs> Do you think Kenny is named after Ken? Absolutely. I think it has, has to be. So I'm going to have to get some money, huh? The sandy beach stretches north and south below steep, grassy cliffs. Oh, hey, I can just swim. Nice. Let's swim. Just see, you know, how far you can get away from Mananan. I like that he fell in just ready to go. Uh-huh. You have reached the limits of your strength. You panic and start to struggle hopelessly. Okay. Let's go into the tavern. What a jaunty tune. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it sounded like it was going to be head, shoulders, knees, and toes. <laughs> <laughs> the barmaid tosses her head and replies, What'll it be for you, sir? A good pull of ale, or would you rather a dram of rum? My, aren't you the handsome one? <laughs> Which the game has to remind you every time. <laughs> Was King's Quest Three written by Suha? <laughs> <laughs> My, Graham, you are sexy and muscular and very single. <laughs> I, I'm just imagining a King's Quest Five written by Suha, where the final puzzle is a muscle-off between Graham and Mordak. That's right. <laughs> Bottles of rum and wine sit atop, sit atop shelves behind the bar. A pretty barmaid stands there. Look at swords. A tattered, faded tapestry hangs next to a pair of rusty swords. Ask about ale? I don't think I can do that. No. Yeah, you don't can't ask about things, unfortunately. The barmaid retorts, Go on, you deadbeat. Drinks cost money, you know. Give her kisses. But I'm really handsome. <laughs> Watch it, fella. Oh my god. <laughs> also, given the perspective, we can kind of trust uh, the, like, the barmaid's a single bosom is bigger than Woodian's entire head here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah. What a queen. Oh, man. <laughs> Dem titties. She's like, like six feet tall. Uh huh. Yeah. Good for her. Maybe more, depending on like um, Gwydion's height. Oh, that's true. 
She's a brick house. I love it. Oh, there's Mama Bear. Hey, girl. Mama oh. Bear growls at you as you near the flower bed. <laughs> Better stay away from it and her. Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, dear. You have annoyed Mama Bear by trampling her precious flowers. <laughs> well, that is not the death I was anticipating. I mean, you're just neighbors. And that's also, Rick, that's quite spiteful. <laughs> <laughs> You should open the door right in front of me. Your cordial greeting annoys the bear, and she growls back, Greetings yourself, young man. Stay out of my garden. Again, you speak to the bear. She growls menacingly. We don't take to strangers here. Go away. Intently, you talk to the bear yet again. She ignores you, but you hear a constant low growl from deep within her. She's like a cat growling into its food dish. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that Papa Bear? Oh my god. <laughs> Scram, growls Papa Bear. We're not interested. Is he going to make you scram? There we go. Awesome. <laughs> Knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> what if he just wombo comboed me and kicked me into the flower bed? <laughs> I love his little uh, his little wind up, his stompy <laughs> stomp before kicking us away. Does it do the same thing if you knock on the door? Question. Yep, same thing. Oh yeah, I I thought it was like an angry stompy tantrum, but it is just a wind up. <laughs> Dang it, I was gonna say, can you for me just let him hit you and then her hit you, but you basically did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> squirrels. You see two squirrels chattering to each other. Did Mananan leave with like five minutes in? Yes. yes. Um, so we uh, have eight minutes remaining. Okay. You are in the charming home of the three bears. Mama Bear certainly does keep her house nice and cozy. Hmm. Good on you. Oh, maybe you can only sit in the baby chair. That's w there we go. You sink deeply into the overstuffed chair. Too deeply. This chair is much too soft. You feel very small and uncomfortable in this big chair. This chair is much too hard. This chair feels just right. Uh oh. There's only a splintered pile of wood that was once a small chair. There is a cheery fire crackling in the fireplace, even though it's summer. Large wooden table is clean and polished. Uh. Hmm. I don't know how. Oh, I know now, actually. Does that you mean I'm the... not saying anything? <laughs> you are in the Bear like family's messing. cozy bedroom. You see three beds and a chest of drawers.
You open the drawer and among the clothes you see a pretty silver thimble. You pick up the thimble and carry it with you. The little thimble is fashioned of bright gleaming silver. You lie upon the smallest bed and snuggle down into the pillow. Oh my god. Ah, this bed is just right. You've <laughs> fallen asleep. You know what you should have done? Stay here, waste time until it's right about time for Manana to come back and have him get you from here. <laughs> oh no! Papa Bear has found you sleeping in Baby Bear's bed! You're in for it now. <laughs> <laughs> And stay out! <laughs> Try opening the door now. You know, Damn. these bears are awfully tolerant of my bullshit. I know. I mean, they're still your neighbors. <laughs> so... Like, oh, go ahead. Mininen would get on their case if uh, they just straight up murdered their his servant doesn't stop the unsavory rogues from well you know i don't think they're part of the hoa um <laughs> like we messed that up what with the bears yeah what did i mess up there was something very important that you needed to get out of it and that was not like the right conditions for you to do that which I didn't honestly remember until you were in there and I didn't see it. Can I go back? You have... I don't know if it will happen now that you've... Because uh, I've never done it like this, so I don't know if that, like, will ruin it or not. Never mind. Oh, there's, okay. There's porridge here. There are three bowls of porridge on the table. You were surprised the bears eat porridge. You always thought they ate honey and berries. You need to, to, to try all the porridge. <laughs> you taste the porridge and decide that this bowl of porridge is just right. You take another bite, then another, and another. Before you realize that you've downed the entire bowl. Oops. <laughs> You taste the porridge and decide that this bowl of porridge is much too hot. This one's much too cold. Ah, so I ruined it. <laughs> now you did. Well, that's just great. So, I did not know you could do it in the order that you've done it. But, um... Evidently you can. So the way I remember it is that if you come and go enough, after a while you'll see the three bears going out for a walk, and that's when the porridge is there. So I don't know why it's just suddenly there now, but it wasn't before. But you should probably... Did we get points for doing the Goldilocks stuff? I don't think we get points for that. I think it's more so like we can basically role play the entire Goldilocks scenario and it doesn't really benefit us. What really just matters is the thimble and the porridge. Can you just do the two beds? I just want to read the of text. Course. Thank you. You flop onto the biggest and hardest bed. <laughs> Bed's much too hard. Papa Bear really has the worst of everything. I mean, I think that cold porridge would probably be worse than uh, too hot, but I could be. I think it's a matter of opinion, I guess. You jump I on the medium-sized bed and sink deeply into its fluffy depths. Bed's much too soft. Nothing under the rug. So I've gotten everything that I can get from here, yeah? I think That's, so. Yeah, that should be everything. All right, cool. Well, then in that case. Yeah, there you go. You should save it. There we go. Yeah, I guess it doesn't, uh, doesn't let you. 
I mean, doesn't give you points. I feel like in one and two, this totally would have been a point situation. <laughs> so now you're just breaking their baby's chair just yeah. to be mean, which mm -hmm. is totally fair and, and cool of you. Yeah, <laughs> we're pretty fair and very cool justified. Oops. I had my finger on the F key. I thought somehow I did that. I was like looking down at the computer. Sorry, Rick. Just paying my respects. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's. This map is fantastic. It is, especially after the last one. So I'm going to have to get that fish oil from the store, and I'm still not entirely sure how. Mm. I might be able to trade something. No, mm. did he say that? That guy seems real, like, business-like. Okay, there's one left. Well, huh. Let me know if you want to dial 1-800-STAR-WARS. Not yet. <laughs> is this the screen you've not been on, or is it the one the underneath one, this? I think it's the one above here. Oh, yeah, it must be. Nice, yeah. okay. Okay, so now we have our entire map. <gasps> mm-hmm. The old rusted anchor is much too heavy to move. Oh, rusty anchor. I feel like I have a vague idea of where we might get some money, but it is like halfway between David and wandering around <laughs> <laughs> with with zero hints. What's your thoughts, Suha? I feel like I I think we might be able to rob the bandits. The, I mean, the unsavory rogues. Rob them? They have, I think they have a hideout. Really? Where do you think I it is? I feel like it was in a tree. Of some kind. And I realized there was a there was a tree with a hole in it, and I was thinking this independently, that we have not... Um, like searched, so maybe there could be something in that. Is this the hole you're thinking of? It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's the boys. <laughs> but this actually does kind of feel like it might be it. You lie down on the ground and look into the small hole. It is too dark inside to see anything. They Those sure are sure here. like this screen. Maybe reach into the... Oh, nice! Okay. Finally found three dried e acorns. Ooh, acorn... Uh, RNG accomplished. <laughs> reach in hole. You lie down on the ground, reach into the small hole. You feel around inside the hollow tree and discover a rope stretching up into the tree. You pull it, and to your amazement, a rope ladder falls from the branches above. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't save while I'm halfway up the ladder, huh? Probably a bad idea. I will save here, though. You know, we keep using only one save, and it's making me nervous. It is making ah, me nervous as well. <laughs> it's fine. You can see very little of the interior from out here, but there seems to be a figure sleeping in a chair. Well, this seems like a great time to just wander on in. You have entered the bandit's hideout. One of them is sleeping at a small table. The bandit light motif. <laughs> There's a leather coin purse lying on top of a wobbly table. Very carefully lift the coin purse off the table, practically out from under the sleeping bandit's nose. Save it and then like wake him up <laughs> with a nice hug. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Dang. Kiss bandit. <laughs> oh, the bandit opens his eyes and sees you in his hideout. He jumps up from his chair and chases you. 
The heartless thug drags you out the door and pushes you off the porch. <laughs> I want to see, talk to him from the door and then leave. <laughs> How do you kiss? I just don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, they thought of everything. Now talk, bandit. <laughs> Funny, no response. Damn. Well, we've got some coins now. I uh, I know it's probably not possible, but I, I kind of want to know if you could, like, outrun him on the ladder. <laughs> I don't think so. It looked um, like it was pretty much instantaneous. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was it was immediate. That's too bad. It would have been extremely funny if you could just, like... He'd Looney Tunes the bandit. <laughs> Eagerly peek inside the soft leather coin purse and discover it contains some shiny gold coins. You may want to count them. Eight gold coins. Set is not a gold coin. <laughs> uh, salt, fish oil, and lard. Buy fish oil. God. Smiling, the storekeeper says, you'll be very happy with this fish oil. That will be one gold coin. Uh, he, he said that you also want the leather pouch too, right? You want everything he's yeah. he's offering you. Yeah. It identified them as useful to you, or of interest to you. It was salt, oil, and what else? A pouch. And lard, which I think you did. You get the yeah. lard first. Okay. I think you get the oil first because it's essential, like okay. required for our ticking clock here. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to get the other stuff? What other stuff? There's four items total. So a pouch. I have a pouch. You have the purse, I think. Did you buy the yeah. pouch? Oh, jeez. Buy pouch. Fine. <laughs> Listen, purses and pouches, entirely different things. Like, fashion faux pas right there. I guess. <laughs> now we can buy a drink with the sexy barmaid. She'll have to right. go out with us then. All right, Rick, pull this off in uh, two and a half minutes. Well, I guess we'll ask her for a celebratory drink. <laughs> Listen, all I have to do is get good at doing these stairs on the fastest speed, and then we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because the clock is the same, right? Yeah, the clock is the same. And very good Sierra stairs. I don't know how very stairs. respectful I've been, Rick. <laughs> 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 I just hold my breath now while you're doing that. Not today, cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David, what's the spell? Uh, first step, put mandrake root powder in a bowl. Do you have a bowl? I don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is there one in the kitchen that you left? Oh, no, that, that doesn't necessarily mean you have a bowl. Uh, I believe the bowl is in the kitchen. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> it 
it's way up there. It's like uh, 10 feet up in the air. I think you actually need all the cutlery and stuff, too. <laughs> I don't think you can do this, Rick. <laughs> Don't you need, like, the spoon? You do need the spoon, <laughs> also. <laughs> For some reason, the way the time flashed, it made me feel like the game was, like, warning you. Come on. You can do it with the cat. Damn it. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, that was, uh... That was, uh... That was a trial run, um... Personal best, oh. but we're, we can we can do better. Yeah, we can do better. <laughs> I just gotta get better at typing and going at fastest speed. This is gonna be fine. <laughs> we're literally our speed running now. Damn it. That takes spop. You should probably give yourself a save. Looking forward to, you know, this uh, eight-step process, including the four lines of spelling temptation you need to type verbatim. All right. All right. First step, put the mandrake root powder in a bowl. Second step... Put cat hair in the bowl. Maybe you should call it mandrake root powder. Oh my god. Maybe put the bowl on the table? I heard this, right? Can you just try, uh, I don't know, the, the brand doesn't like frame it as the cat cookie, so like, uh. I guess try putting, no, 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 you're supposed to make it outside of it. Uh, is, can you, is there a bowl here that we're overlooking? That is not the one that we're carrying? No, because when I look bowl, I oh, just see oh, this one. Oh, oh, oh. Try turn to page XXV for the spell book. With trembling hands, you turn the pages of the sorcery of old and prepare to follow its instructions precisely. You know you must work with the utmost care. Every step is critical. Each must be done in the proper way, in the proper sequence. You tremble in anticipation. Powder and bolt. I've never heard that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, if you mess up any step, if you mistype anything, uh, you get an instant death. That was I amusing, Gwydion. I've never done that. <laughs> Mandrake in bowl. Ah, put powder in bowl. Soon you all will understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, put cat hair in the bowl. In bowl. What's the next one? Uh, put two spoons of fish oil in the bowl. I think just fish oil would surely. Stir the mixture with a spoon. Wow, I can't believe they didn't get mad at you. You mix the ingredients together, the mixture turns into an oily, disagreeable dough with cat hair sticking out of it. What's next? Put the dough on the table. Scrunching your nose in distaste, you grab the oily dough from the clay bowl and put it on the oaken table. Pat the dough into a cookie. Pushing the palm of your hand on the oily dough, you flatten it until it is in the shape of a cookie. After a bit, the cookie hardens. 
The next step is going to be reciting the verse. It's probably going to bring up a menu for it, um, but uh, mandrake root and hair of cat, mix oil of fish and give a pat. Mix. What was the next line? Mix oil, mix oil of fish and give a pat. A feline from the one who eats. Also, I believe every first line needs to be capitalized if that's an option for you. It may not be. It is, but keep going. <laughs> <laughs> this appetizing magic treat. Wave wand, magic wand. You wave the magic wand over the cookie and then take it from the table and carry it with you. Okay. Successfully completing the spell, you again look at the wizard's laboratory. Okay, you need to very quickly hide your stuff. Now, David, <laughs> why would you not let him find this out for himself? <laughs> why not just let him do it? it find what out? Hiding the, <laughs> hiding the stuff? I, I figured I had to hide the stuff. You also got to close. Think you can do it in eight. <laughs> You think you can do it in 18 seconds? Hell yeah, I can do it in 18 seconds. You see how fast I am? You, you, you also need to close the secret passage. <laughs> you have to lock up everything behind you. Mm hmm And you have to put your shit away. I'm fine. Okay. Aren't you forgetting something? Nope. Oh, I forgot okay. to move the book back. Is that what you forgot? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> this fucking cat. <laughs> oh, I felt like you had it. <laughs> now, do the speedrunners play on this maximum uh, speed, David? Um, like very frequently they'll play at like maximum speed. Like there's like a bit of controversy in the King's Quest speedrunning community because like, uh, the CPU cycles you have going, um, kind of decide how zippy exactly it is. So there's like, mm -hmm. I think different speedrun categories for different CPU oh, cycles. Oh, cause I guess depending on your equipment it or both, whatever. It also makes it like, it's possible to make it impossible. Oh. <laughs> All right, we'll see if the one thing bites you in the ass or not. What one thing? Oh, you're you're doing great. What yeah. one thing? <laughs> Go ahead, Rick. What one thing? <laughs> well, Manana's not back yet, so he might have been fussing for nothing. What one thing? Let us find out. Hey, boss. Mother shitter. <laughs> 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 Damn it, when he said teach you a lesson, I was hoping you were just gonna punish you. What do you think, Rick? Can you do it all? <laughs> I can absolutely do it all. <laughs> all right, hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh. All right, here we go. I'm hyped. I'm ready. Now that you know exactly what you have to do and how little time you have to do it in, let's go. I, I actually have twice as much time as I thought I did. Oh, do you? Well, look at the I timers. guess it did take a couple it's extra It's 3027. <laughs> yeah. See, we're fine. This is fine. It's going to be great. All right, speedrunner Rick, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting twitchy! Oh, he does it all automatically, even better. Now the key, I don't know if you have to put it back exactly ah. on top, but I feel like that would be safest. <gasps> Damn. <laughs>
Oh? You've discovered oh, the secrets of the sorcery do. of old. Never again will you disobey me, Gwydion. Oh, you didn't put your shit away yet. That was it. Yeah, I was going to say you is. didn't. Uh, I was thinking you didn't like close a spell book or something, but no. It's just kind of weird that he can like, I don't know, fucking smell shit on you. I assume <laughs> those rose petals. You smell too pretty, Gwydion. <laughs> <laughs> you know you are a very handsome lad, as all know. I like the ways the game tries to like subtly reassure you that like you were correct and this is the reason why you have to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Uh oh. <laughs> the seconds. most butt clenching of adventure game runs. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> What's funny is you were closer the first time, I feel like, but I don't know. It's still a lot to do in that time period. I can get this. I can absolutely get this. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way it pauses for a second, like, with you just eating shit, like, in the air. <laughs> yeah, like, right there, just whoop. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> this cat, I swear to God, <laughs> just like every cat that I've ever Listen. known, it's everywhere I want to be. <laughs> Call that Listen. shit AT&T. <laughs> You you ripped a uh, tuft out of its uh, body. It's gonna make you suffer. <laughs> Greech. <laughs> Damn it! I should probably just go back on fast for this part. Yeah. The awkward diagonals are the toughest part of doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet. This is what you get for bragging about how good you are at Sierra Stairs. Oh, it's okay. This is just hard <laughs> mode. Damn it, I always type this, too fast. This might actually be increasing uh, your affection for the game, is this specific situation you've worked yourself into. It is. I like this. <laughs> I love that it will say that to you, but like you'll be carrying the magic wand. Like he's like covering his tracks and he thinks he's like so smart. Yeah, I can't do oh. it on fast. I think I've got a couple of seconds after I walk in the room before the wizard will show up because it seemed to be pretty easy to get back up to my room the first time. And yeah. I'm assuming you like are using the num lock um uh, of course. keys. Of course. <laughs> Can you imagine being banana and coming home to Gwydion dead <laughs> on the floor in your laboratory? Or like meowing? Well, saves me the trouble. <laughs> My god. Good thing you type quickly. <laughs> Opened. <laughs> ha ha. Beautiful. Pew 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 pew. pew. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we'll see. I don't know if that key counts. Gwydion, why is there a huge tuft of fur missing from my cat? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you gotta patch, you know, the dog hair over the cat's <laughs> missing fur. I have returned, oh, Gwydion, and I'm ready to eat.
You fucking legend. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have faith in my Sierra logistical abilities. <laughs> Clearly. Although it really seems like getting into the room was uh, the, the key That was the hardest part, there. yeah. Yeah. No, no, yeah. do it, do it, do it, do it. No, 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 go do it, go do it. <laughs> I'm assuming I need the bowl. Yeah, you serve him a cookie in a bowl, as oh, one the does. Oh, the porridge. No, you're going to let him eat it with his bare hands. He's going to love it. <laughs> Here is your dinner, sir. A cookie. <laughs> a fish oily cookie. Mananan is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. You'd better feed him quickly, or dire consequences may result. Oh. Oh, he sniffs out the cookie. Damn it, I was really hoping it would let you just give it to him. Man, alright. That's not nearly as funny. Wait, don't you have to wait for him to come back? Oh yeah. I forgot the save was before he came back. Yeah. I feel like if this game wanted to be really cruel, it would have made me take the hot porridge so that it's, like, you know, <laughs> edibly warm by now. Wow, it really gave you time. I think it's because when I'm in his room... Yeah, it's safety the zone. doesn't, yeah. So I guess the time does pass in there. I'm just thinking about the conversation um, with Mordak and Five, um, where our boy here is all like, "I I don't know what happened. I was like, you accidentally turned into a cat. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> I how many years has it been actually? The porridge conceals the crumbled cookie. It still looks as appetizing as ever. Like. King's Quest V, um, he still seems like he's kind of teenager-y, so I assume it's not, like, that long. So it's not like he can say, oh, uh, <laughs> it's, it's been years. <laughs> Actually, you should save it. <laughs> well, I guess you can reload later. I wanted to see uh, what it does when you give him, like, the mutton or whatever. <laughs> Man. Give. You don't have the mutton. Oh, that's right. They're not hungry. Feed wizard. You place the food on the dining table before the hungry wizard. Ravenously, he devours every bit of it. Oh, I guess that's probably just what it would say. Now, if he didn't finish the bowl, like, and he eats, like, you know, fragments of the, the cat cookie, would only parts of him turn into a cat? Yes. <laughs> I have to think so. You fooled him. Manana didn't realize the porridge was tainted and ate the whole bowl. <laughs> what an income poop. What a boob. What an absolute <laughs> rube. <laughs> what a nimrod. Congratulations! Mananen will never again enslave you or the people of Ludor. At last, you are free.